now streaming. Let's look at this. Should pick it up right now. Excellent. All right, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up then. My God. Okay, excellent. All right. Should pick it up right now. Oh, I'm basically just watching the whole thing from my... Oh, that would, that would explain why. I've just got such a horrible lag. All right. What's up, everybody? This is a prelude to the most awesome thing of all. It is the Korean StarCraft II League. And in this thing, we, as player, we as casters, get to watch and commentate over the awesomeness that is these players. Watching him play on these seven 1v1 maps from the ladder. We get to see what weird and wacky strategies they've got. And we also get to see just how cheesy are they willing to go. That being said, we do get a lot of macro games, not a whole lot of cheese. But on the rare times we do get cheese, I just about hop out of my chair. And so, where is that? This whole thing. In a currently unhappening state, it is, uh, we got some time before we can do it, so let's look at the bracket for the time being, or not, because I am, my god, it is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, as such viewers will experience buffering. Huh. Alright then. Stream health. Alright. It is poor. Fix. Uh, Alright, no data at all. So pause it. Wow. Wow, this is just absolutely horrible. Abysmal. What in the fuck is going on? Can't read it. it can barely read it. What in the... Oh my god, my dude, my lad. What the fuck is going on? So... It is not receiving... I wonder if it's the internet. Okay, it's not even receiving any data anymore. Wow. Well then. That is frustrating to try to figure out. Okay, what are we doing? might want to uh, 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 yeah, 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 I would explain it no data error no data error no data it's either got to be my internet which doesn't really support this sort of thing which apparently doesn't support this sort of thing really well and we'll stream on discord which might be different because the latency issues I have no freaking idea Hmm. All right. 
So, what are we looking at here? Where does it leave us? I have no freaking idea. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what to do. So... Hmm, I don't know, man. Gumio versus Hero? Do we just look over that for the time being? I don't know, man. <sighs> well. Well, we wait. We are going to. Oh, I was waiting right there. I don't know. Let's play a ladder game. Previous one, I beat a guy who was Platinum 1, so... Hmm. right into a ladder game. Getting absolutely no data. Alright, I'm going up against a Zerg. Alright, so let's see what happens here. If I don't get anything, I will Oh, hey, this guy's a nice guy. He actually talks. Alright. Now, what epically horrible way am I going to cheese this guy? Let's go for a cannon rush. Alright, now we go. Gateway to go with us. And now we start up worker production again. This should give me enough time to rebuild that. I should probably let it finish. Huh, whatever. One base or die trying, I suppose? I don't know. this down a bit. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Let's send these, this guy over there. Alright, so now we leave this guy uh, to that. Alright, so he is not responding well to this. Oh, he is responding perfectly fine to it. Alright, uh, that's dead. Oh, Johnny, you are a fine boy. So right now, if I don't get a cannon up, I am dead. I'm going to place this a little back so it can't get bean busted. that here, place this here, and then go across the map. <sighs> well, that's poor York. You were too good for this world. All 
right? Now he's probably going to go across the map. Wait, do I seriously have to pretend there's a wall off? Is that all I need to do to bluff this guy? That's actually kind of advantageous. And we just kind of place this over here. And uh, start up a couple more zealots, and we bluff this guy. Of course, he probably doesn't know that uh, I have a corner base. So now my bet is he's going to try to Bane Bust. Should be finishing up about now. There we go. Have enough for one of those. Let's actually protect this. I got about 10 minutes to finish this or GG out. This guy's gonna be mighty confused when I have to GG out early. Since his army is not guarding his main base, I'm just going to walk over there. It's not a big enough army to compete with what I've got, but, yeah. It is enough to really mess with me, though. It means i got to get up out of Stargate real quick here. There we go. Now he's just going to kill that. That should be fine. He's just not... He's not even microwing. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, that's GG. GG well played, my dude. Uh, yeah, 3092. Yeah. I mean, I can understand why I lost. I didn't have a fast enough transition. But it looks like we are going to get right into it. It's nine minutes, we're nine minutes from the start, and we're going to really uh, hop right in. Uh. Let's see. All in all, though, yeah, that Nidus in the main was. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could have won. Could I? I feel like I couldn't have. Maybe I could. Maybe I could have. I don't know. For this jokes. We're ready to go. <sighs> Alright. What are we looking at? I am streaming, so let me post my stream. 
What is my stream URL? Oh, okay. Huh. So how do I get my stream link? Hmm. Open widget. Let's open the widget. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. Now we just uh, go right on, from right off. Now. We're going to be praying that, oh my god, please stop showing me my own voice. I sound like the inside of a trash can on Midnight Eve. Please, God, stop doing that. All right. Go ahead and promote this, and then we'll uh, start very shortly here. Six minutes to go. Brackets all going to be set up, and uh, we'll see what shakes. Icky, breaky heart. Or something like it, anyway. Whew. Yes, thank you, Alarm. You're a day late, dollar short. Hmm. Alright, I have a normal self promo. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. They shot me down. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we're rolling into this. We're seeing a lot of players rolling in already. We got Nightmare up in here. Got Cyan from SSLT. Bro's really been doing a number on the pros in the uh the WTL. I saw a hero in the uh in the bracket, so I think we're gonna be seeing some hero games. Actually, I'm really excited for that. Watching Hero is such a pleasure. It, it's like watching the Master Chef at work, just taking down, um, you know, a lot of people. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're gonna be seeing, seeing some special, some dark, some classic, some nice. Holy crap! Triple. We're gonna get let's see, two black Hyperion. My brother in Christ, we have one of the most that friggin' brackets of all time. Holy crap, I'm out. really excited to be getting into this. So, we don't have yet to see Hero Show, but, uh, oh my god, I'm excited for this. <laughs> uh, I wonder what map it's going to start on. I mean, it's always a 1 in 7 chance. And if I'm going to flip a coin, I'm probably going to go with New Humanity. Flip a coin, roll a dice, whatever. No, not New Humanity. It plays a little weirdly, and I hear a lot of people don't like playing on it. Dragon Scales and Royal Blood seem to be favorites, as well as Gresven, Babylon, and Ancient Cistern is... I mean, it is liked. But if we're if the first thing we're watching is a, uh, a, yeah, is a PVZ, I doubt the Zerg is going to not... Um, uh, veto ancient system because you know looking at the map uh, ratings I think it's highly favored for Protoss and just looking at the map setup there's a lot of points where you could choke up a Zer uh, Zergling army there's a lot of points where you could box in some roaches and roaches versus stalkers when roaches can't even get to them well that's trouble in and of itself the corners in and up the uh, corner bases uh, they have enough space behind the mineral line for they'll require like three or four force fields to wall off uh, but then again it's a really nice map for Nidus's. a large main uh, by the time they really even notice that's going on the creep uh, the creeps already there the army's already out the Queen's already dropping the things <laughs> what do you end up with you know get a few options on this map though in a PVT. I remember reading somewhere that Kier tried to bait a hero into a four gate blink on this map. I'm not going to be able to look at chat because that would require flipping uh, between uh, screens so uh, eh, it's going to be a night, a night trick. Let me go ahead and find that little thing. Uh, where is it? 
is the chat function. Where's the docs? Stats. Scenes, sources, audio mixes, scene transitions, controls not existent. Bloody hell. Join Discord server. I'm probably going to do that after the stream. That's, that's a really wise idea. Now, let's go back to looking at admiring Babylon. Really tear in favor map, and you can see why this this back over here um, gives you really good uh, gives you a pretty decent look at this Reaper ledge. It's really ugly. Not a lot of space going on over there. And looking at this middle, you know, siege tank with a scan. All of a sudden, everything became nine times harder to hit a Terran army behind this. Yeah, and I th I think I really like this map for Terran. Looking at dragon scales, we're also looking at. Um, I don't know. I mean, on one hand, it's pretty balanced between Zerg and Terran. You got some pretty nasty siege up spots over here. Um, oi. What's done looking at that? There's some pretty nasty siege up spots over here. I should probably just load this up. Uh, map info. And this. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty siege up spot here, 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 here. Uh, I mean, if you have a plant. If the. Oi, vey. If you have a planetary right here. Siege tank right here with the gas right here is really nice. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, but for Protoss, by the same token, I mean, it is a large main, so a um, stalker drop over here could really do some damage. Some stalkers over here, I mean, you got a lot of go, uh, you can get a lot going on over here at these Reaper ledges with blink stalkers. So. It's pretty good for Protoss. You can collapse these rocks, really limit a Zerg's mobility in the map. I mean, I don't know, man. Seems like it's pretty even. May on Fire did a fantastic job with this map. I absolutely love it. It's got royal blood. I'm curious. Alright, so we got these... Uh, so we have a triangle third. Main up here, natural over here. Uh, oh, yeah. I wasn't done looking at that. How do you... Uh, why not? Let's pin it. Put a ring on it. Now we go over here and we look at... I mean, I'm looking at this and I see... I mean, it's a pretty nasty uh, siege tank spot. Okay, so it's finishing up the bright. So, yeah, we can uh, admire this map a little longer than we're going to hop right into the first game. Hopefully it's... Uh, <laughs> hopefully it happens pretty soon here. So, okay, that that's what triggers that. Okay, interesting. So yeah, put some siege tanks over here. I would not want to be a Protoss trying to dislodge that. Hmm. I don't know. Look at this map. I I like some of the siege up spots for Terran. Over here, tr Protoss tries to open this up. All of a sudden, it's really difficult for them to really break down those rocks, open up movement, open up another avenue of attack. Uh, now a lot of these maps really get decided before any of it really takes effect. I mean, you get a few rare late games, but when you do get a late game, holy crap, it is fun to watch. I suppose it's one thing you can really favor about this map, is its ability to just make it so darn good. Excellent, Smith. All right, there we go. Just letting people know that this shit is gonna be bad. 
He is very nervous. I doubt he has much to worry about. He looks to be a very solidly master's player. going on. That's two F-bombs. I should probably knock that off. <laughs> Where is SC Just Cry? Is it finalized? Finishing up the bracket? Just a few minutes. I don't think the bracket is finalized yet. What are we looking at over here? Hyperion is going up against Just Cry. Alright, so it's now been updated. Buckstar going up against Hoop Sire. Definitely not going to try to catch that. I... I'm sure, you know, Hoop is a nice guy, but I've not heard a lot of... I've not seen good things from his particular chat, so... I'm a little... I'm a little hesitant. I'm pretty sure he's got a really good, um, uh, he's got a really good professional uh, outlook, but, eh, kind of hard to connect to some of those. Uh, very difficult to actually even have a conversation with if they're really against. Um, oh, we got special in the chat. Ooh. I am so excited. Whew. Need two more minutes. I want to cast special. I want to cast him. He is such a fun player, too. Um, do, 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 do. Future. It's not here. So, wait a minute. Future is here? Oh, sh holy shoot. Yeah. Really rocking those uh, onomatopoeias. No, not onomatopoeias. Expletives? I have no idea. I, f I failed English in the second grade. I can't tell the difference between onomatopoeia and an expletive. Now, as we're looking at this whole thing and wondering what exactly what is going on in my brain that caused that phrase to come out, I am going to go ahead and continue admiring these maps. Looking at Gresvin, it was uh, submitted by. Uh, who did this? Oh, Legan. Okay. This one has an interesting color scheme, but it looks very tiled. Um, really, I don't like this map for Protoss and his EVP. Looking at it, uh, just the way if an army engages from over here, it can peel your army really nicely. Once it's peeled, and it's really a struggle to try to get your army to focus on that. Is okay, so interesting. I wonder why they chose the uh, Nexus and just command center. There's a little community hatcheries. I really like this straightaway attack angle for Protoss and Protoss versus Zerg. I mean, yeah, you can if they get a uh, hatchery over here, they can peel a little bit, but as long as you can keep your army together to get other over here, I mean, yeah, sure, same happens over here. But I feel like those that this avenue and uh, this avenue and this avenue are really good for multi pronging, especially if they decide to take their line third. 
Similar story over here. You have to break down these rocks to get a better idea, to get a better angle of, uh, of approach. Unless you're prox unless this map, unless you're descending to proxy Stargate, this map is really beautiful for it. You can hide a uh, proxy over here or over here. Oh, okay. Over here or over here, if you're feeling in particular, uh, if you're on the other side of the map. It's really nice. Alright, the bracket is finalized. You can see who. Specialist going to go for. Huh. Alright. 15 minutes for any walkovers. Good luck, good luck. I doubt. Oh, Specialist going to get any walkovers. I don't think. Nope. Alright, so. Oh no, no hero. Darn. Well, we still got a lot of uh, big names in this. Okay, the bracket though. I think it's going to come down to Dark versus Classic. And I'm really favoring Dark in that particular matchup. Okay. post links and we will be getting on with it Let's see what happens next my stream might actually just die I'm hoping it doesn't but uh, I mean that does all advantages oh my god C2 Black versus Special. I want to catch that. Black has been late a lot in these things. Nightmare versus Buckstar Shot. Classic versus Just Cry. Hmm. Somewhere here, I was mad. Oh. Ooh. Oh no. No, oh, Dave. Please don't be mad. You're such a good guy. Alright, so he's going to catch. Uh, classic and just cry. I'm gonna try to catch special versus black. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to ca settle for uh, settle for catching a few of the other games because I am, after all, auxiliary. Mio Mika versus Jishi. Oh shit! That's one I want to catch. <laughs> nice versus Buckstar shot. Buckstar versus... Yeah, his opponent isn't here. Asking a favor later, please. All right, so Chicken Man is here. We need Korean Sporting KSL. <laughs> All right. Um, Dragon? Uh, uh, Buckstar shot. I think goes up against Nightmare, but I don't know. Imagine a tweet. Mm. I'm going to try to catch special, but, uh, catch, catch special. Uh, Try to catch special versus black. That's what I'm gonna do. I want to. Awesome. All right. So Enki is a caster. I played against special. He's a really nice guy. XX twenty four. Players who are not on the friends list. And I am...
His opponent is here. Black is. He is here. Caster. <laughs> For being tearing with balls to play, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's always fun. I. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Invite. Uh, make him party leader, please. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Earth is going on. Nice. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Should be entering lobby now. All right. Awesome. Oh, what? Why? Why? What? What is going on? Why was I invited? Uh, yeah, uh, Another game. or not, because I am completely confused as to what on earth is going on. Um, Okay, I guess we're casting Classic versus Just Cry. Awesome. All right. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. A PvP, a PvP tends to be a very fun uh, matchup. And on Royal Blood, it tends to be more explosive than a lot of other uh, maps. I mean, I cannot get over how good a job May on Fire did with this. And down here, representing... I... I I have learned Korean. I've been only learning Korean for about a month, but I, and I have no idea what that says. But down here in the bottom left, it is just cry. And up here in the top right, it is classic. Currently representing no team on this particular account, and I think what we're going to see is some mirrored openers. And I don't know what style of either of these players prefer. But I would not be surprised to see a stalker or century opener out of either player. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it is interesting how he plays that building, though. Are they going to go for a one-gate expand? Probably not. There isn't a ramp into the natural. That means it's going to be really difficult to pull that off. I mean, you got to be max packs to pull something that crazy off. Yeah. It'll be a double gate for both players. Double gas as well. 16 has 16 coming down. Oh, classic, classic, uh, classic cyber is going to be a little late. What the <laughs> classic? Traps, no, traps just cries probe right behind this pylon and is gonna be an issue for. <laughs> it says he's pretty much denied mining to this patch. Just cry is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a little, um. It's gonna be very much hard pressed for uh, by this particular pylon. It's gonna be chasing this probe off, but it, not before it gets a full scout. Looks like he's gonna be proxying over here, and it is gonna be standard for all players. Ah, this has gotta really cut into his, uh to his um his income already we see it taking effect his just cry is down three 200 to 300 income as opposed to uh as opposed to classic 
seeing as he's already got double stalker out, he's got his units faster than uh, classic. It looks like he's gonna try to go across the map. Is, is he gonna throw down batteries? Probably, I don't know. He's scouting for proxies. <laughs> and so is classic. It looks like he's not gonna find the one. He's gonna find the one over here, probably. It's just starting up right now. No, no, he turns around, goes back. Just Cry is going to be checking the corner, and it is going to be a smooth running from here. It's double Stalker, double Sentry from Classic. Double Stalker, uh, quadruple Stalker from Just Cry, and we transition to the middle. We go to the middle game. Proxy over here. Looks like it's going to be a, uh, I wonder if it's going to be a Proxy Stargate. Yeah, a Proxy Gateway. Interesting. What is he planning on doing with that? Forward warping point, gonna try to get a result run by in on this third if Classic decides to take it. Alright, we got a Phoenix coming out across the map. I think the big disadvantage of just Cry's opening is that he's not able to get as much scouting off as um as Classic is uh, with the current opener. Classic's Twilight Council is gonna be Cancelled and replaced with a robo. More stalkers on the way. Uh, two stalkers being warped in at the front over here. Looks like that's going to be a four gate from Just Cry. And uh, I don't like this position for Just Cry. I really feel like he should have scouted this a little more and saw what Klusk was doing. But I mean, he knows far more about this game than I do, so I'm not going to be backseating. Gonna be moving in over here. The shield battery is gonna be able to push him off for the time being. Where is he? What is he gonna to try to do with this? I don't think. Oh, yep. That is gonna be really. It's gonna to try to dive in here. And he's gonna. He's not gonna be able to quite one shot these stalkers, which means classic. What's? Is he? He's just pushing right on through. Oh, uh, yeah, all of a sudden, this just became bad. Yep, and he is going to have to tap... What? Oh, yeah, he is going to have to tap out, and Classic takes game number one of this best of three in the KSL. So the Korean Stark... <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah. All right, so looking at that, I saw that Classic... He had a bit of an issue, but in the beginning, he was, in fact, at a pretty advantageous position at the end there. Um, I don't know. I mean, remembering it, it just feels like that. Uh, it's like I, he had an advantage for the time being, and I feel like he overcommitted there by pushing in a little too soon. I don't know. Either way, Klusk was able to take that in style as both of them are absolutely fantastic players and I, th I think Just Cry had a had him against the wall for a moment there but then he couldn't really cancel the warp in. Hmm, I don't know, maybe he, should, maybe he could have dived in? I have no idea. But as we dive into game two with Classic up one game against Just Cry, we're going to see what goes on. No, I have no idea if that's what his name literally translates to, but uh, it's how he comes in at the, in the challenge, so... Or challenge. I don't know. It just looks really weird to me. Alright, this uh, game two of this best of three is up here in the top right. It is Just Cry. And down here in the bottom left, it is Classic. It's going to be the same opening from both players. I wonder if we're going to see some glaze, if we're going to see some more blinking out of either player. Okay, maybe that was... Maybe I should have chosen that wording a little differently. Blinking. Yes, they're not blinking at their screens. They're playing this game at absurdly fast pace. It's going to be a gateway scout for both players. Maybe 
uh, mirrored opener yet again from both both bah, both players. I wonder if Classic's gonna try those same shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, that was a really nicely placed pylon. I mean, it was just perfectly right there to stop uh, just Kai from being able to really return any minerals from that patch. It looks like Classic is gonna have a uh, scout come across him. He's gonna go for some mineral line harass. Fairly standard stuff. I I don't know if we're going to see something similar to the magnitude of what we saw in the previous game, but I'm kind of hoping we do. He's going to be ru running around. It's going to be like a chase from uh, Mad Max. And on the other side of the map, just guys going to be looking at the natural. Going to be making sure that Classic is in fact taking one. And he blocks it with the pylon. Classic. Oh, yep, he's gonna try to take it. Already running around. It's gonna be uh, another double stalker from Just Cry. Maybe he's gonna try the same build. I don't know. It's a uh, stalker sentry out of Classic. And the chase continues. The most epic chase of all chases. As Classic goes on here. These two stalkers are unfortunately going to cut it short, so we're not going to get that full glorious view. It's going to be another proxy out of Just Cry. I wonder if we're going to be seeing another 4K, if we're going to be seeing a proxy Stargate. As it finishes up, we get another gateway. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Another one, uh, bleh, probe sitting down here. Going to be checking to make sure that, as a matter of fact, Hero uh, Classic does not walk any adepts in, or shade them in anyway. Uh, gonna be walking them over here. Gonna be. Pro what? Proxy. Proxy 2 gate? Gonna be another two from. Uh, another two sentries. Or. One sentry. Out of Hero, or just uh, Classic, the third Protoss on the mind. Three sentries, three stalkers. Phoenix is going to get a scout of everything. As the stalkers are going to go meet up with their buddies on the other side of the map. As Hero sees that, or Classic sees that there is no uh, units on the other side of the map, he is going to start his row. He's going to try to clone out a few more units. I right, got to try to clone out an immortal to deal with these stalkers. With a shield battery, it takes a lot to really one-shot a immortal. And I, wait, you can't one-shot a mortal. As soon as its barrier comes up, you can't really do anything about it. So I'm gonna try to go immortal. What is, what is this plan? Dun, dun. Oh, it is an immortal. It's gonna chrono it, I think. Yep, it's gonna chrono it. These uh, stalkers are gonna try to press in. There's, I think, there's enough here to one-shot. Uh, what classic has got. He balls him up, and the book concave clearly favoring classic here. And as he pulls back, he's able to one shot uh, these sentries, but he is not quite able to one shot what he's trying to aim at. And I think he should just pull back here, otherwise he just straight up loses. Yep, yep, and he GGs. It is a well played out of just cry, and classic takes game number two in style. Now looking at what's up, oh, it's up next on the, uh, fracking, uh, no fracking idea. So, um, Dark versus, apparently Jishi got a walkover. Apparently Jishi got a walkover. So, yeah. Alright then. So, uh, classic beating just cry puts him in the, uh, puts him up in the bracket. Probably going to be facing off against the winner between Nice and Lemon. Hmm. Alright. What are we looking at over here? Hmm. You 
you win. Who is this? Lemon versus nice. Yep, alright, it was good experience. Okay. Thanks for inviting me. Ah, that's really nice. That's really cool. My god, Shalange. Please stop showing me those weird freaking ads. Uh, oh, nice, just straight up didn't show up. Okay. So it's going to be Lemon versus Classic and Dark versus Jishi. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. It's gonna be lemon versus classic. Do we get any covers on the oh we get any covers on SC2 Nightmare versus Buckshot? Uh, I don't know. Probably didn't. I don't know. I think we did. Maybe we did. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Existence is futile. My mind is not at peace. Let's see what shakes. SC2 Triple coming out ahead of the future of Terran. Right, the future of Terran just straight up didn't show up. Oh no. Why? Please. People. Show up for your games. It's gonna be special versus. Uh, I see two black that decides who goes up against triple. Hmm. Jishi versus Doc. So we are left without a game. Hmm. All right, Hoopsaya comes in. Uh, it just comes back. Oh dear. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I see two Cyan. Versus Hoops. Uh, oh, no, it's game two for them or game three. Game two or three. I don't know. And. A special versus black. Oh, I figured that one might be. Alright then. It's classic versus lemon. So, yeah, classic versus lemon. Gotta go. Uh, it's possible that Lemon wasn't accepting any, uh, speaking from, uh, wasn't accepting any, uh, um, uh, what's the phrase? Messages from people on one of his friends list, but I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it. Huh. My God, you do. My God. No likes. Thank you, life. Yeah, I'm with him. Party buck star. Want to be a rock superstar. I live long. Big house. Five calls. Hmm. Yeah. I have to cover a different one. Huh. <sighs> mm. 
you know, it is 2334 night of over here, so, uh, yeah. Talking to myself. Do, 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 do. You know what? Hell, if I'm gonna be waiting, I might as well get something this fun. Ugh. Grab my guitar. Uh, thing. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. What? <laughs> some of those moments where you look where you're wondering about your friend's sanity. Oh. Alright. I want to join that. <laughs> if the sub is in it, it's probably a good uh it's probably a good server. <laughs> So apparently, template books. So, what we got? Oh, I should probably turn on the fan so I don't overheat. I get cranky when I overheat. There we go. All right, now for some interesting. Uh. Elevator music, I think it's called. I have no fracking idea. So I'm gonna try to cover Dark versus Jishi. I come uh no. Yeah, uh kind of Alright. It's gonna be triple versus special. Classic versus uh Classic versus Lemon. It looks like, I think, yeah, Chicken Man's going to be covering Classic vs. Lemon. Dave's going to be covering Nightmare vs. Lemon. Uh, Nightmare vs. Um, Special. What? Uh, Special vs. Triple. Dave's going to be covering Special vs. Triple, and I'm going to try to catch... Um... 
Um, Dark versus Jishi. Unless that game already happened. In that case, I'm just pretty much being an idiot. Either that or they just didn't update the... Uh... Yeah, no. Uh, it appears it's... Alright. This is... Bet they're gonna... Oh. Oh, Dark is available. to join Kanoya's party. Yep, there's someone covering Dark vs. Jishi. Thank you. I would like to watch Jishi vs. Do. Oh, whoops. Or, not watch. Cast. I'm not here on vacation. Did Dark already win against Jishi or something? I am now party lead. Kanoya, please take the reins. Jesus, take the wheel. Because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Looks like I've been going for an hour, which means I used about a gig of my data. Oh, Dark has become the leader. Which means it passed between our uh, two hands. Alright. Oh. Oh. Which means I'm probably going to be casting. I'm going to be uh, casting Dark versus whoever wins against Special and Triple. Yeah. I don't. Uh, man, I don't know. I got grabbed into a party and then I. I think I have to be a little more firm with my uh, affirmations. Hey, I got to cast these two guys. So I don't think anyone's on them. But I mean, looking at it, we had one, two, three walkovers. So I guess it wasn't needed. I'm not even sure. Yeah, probably wasn't needed. Probably would have been a redundancy. I would have ended up with fewer games than I ended up with. I was able to cast one series. A PvP. Wow. That whole thing took nine minutes and 55 seconds. I know that pain. I think it against, when I first played against uh, Pro, I think it was against Trigger. I lasted a consecutive total of about seven minutes. What happened was very interesting. Um, game one was a proxy gateway, proxy robo. Uh, proxy three gate, proxy robo. While I was trying to go for a cannon rush. What was interesting was that I ended up dying because I didn't commit to the cannon rush and I didn't commit to fully to the defense, so... Yeah, I tried macroing out of Proxy 3 gate. Uh, and then Game 2, he Nexus rushed me. Just kind of like... Bray. You know, there were a few fun games, but it was just a... It just felt like... A, uh... What exactly did I do? So, what do we hope for here? It's 23.55 and we're almost all, already almost to the semifinals. I think it's pretty insane though. Uh, I mean, Special and Triple are on their second game, I think. Yeah, second game, I didn't really get a game until later on. <laughs> so here we wait, longer and longer. Ranger versus Dark. That was a fun series. Uh, yeah, I can't even really do anything. Let's go for teams. No. Yeah. So, oh, where are we going here?
I've played Dark, I think, twice? Once? Twice? No, it was once, and I saw him in a, um, in one of Pig's, uh, holdout challenges. When I played against him, it was, uh, it was a fun game. It was casted by Light VIP, I remember. It's one of those core memories that you never forget. It was, playing Dark was like, I don't know, it's like playing that really cool neighbor who just happens to be, you know, world champion at what you were playing against him in, but it was very fun. Game one, I opened up with a cannon rush. Uh, <laughs> I got his third. I got him, I got a wall off up on his uh, main. But I didn't get anything else. <laughs> Uh, he went beast mode and absolutely just... He did lose a single unit. You got, like, you look at the lo units lost type, he only lost 75, uh, 75 minerals, and that was from canceling his hatchery that I cannoned. And then looking at my losses, well... Um... Well, uh, to put it lightly, it was 575 to 75 lost uh, 75 lost minerals. It was absolutely insanely one sided. It was fun as heck to play. You know, I didn't really expect much. Uh, it was kind of one of those plankton meme moments where I just, uh, alright, you've cannon rush dark, what now? I don't know, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> um, and yeah, game two, I tried going for a more macro, double stargate and void gray, and you just kind of. lol. You have units. How adorable. Now let me chomp on them. And that was how I let us survive 12 minutes? I think it was 12 minutes against Dark. And a best of three. <laughs> you know, now that I'm surviving into the double digits against people who are world champions, I think I should start shooting for 20 minutes now, you know, improving my play just 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> 20 minutes for a best of three, kids. This is not going to be brain uh, brain surgery. But, sir, it's against someone I nicknamed the final boss. Okay, it is brain surgery, but not as much as we thought it would be. <laughs> uh, so, it's like Chicken Man came back. And... We are going to be seeing... Lemon. Oh. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Wait, did they report the score before it even happened? What What happened there? Because the Classic is only now coming back, and it was already reported that it was a 2-0 in favor of Classic. I wonder if they just played a third game for the fun of it. Probably not, but, you know. While we're waiting... <laughs> Uh, they were, oh, no, uh, I mean, they came back, uh, I have no idea, all right, e, oh, my, I have no idea what, what's going on, uh, hell, I'll just whip out another story, so, uh, let's see, where other pros have I played? I almost, I almost played up against Scarlet. That was going to be a fun one. <laughs> so 
Especially since I kept joking about how I was a Scarlet Simp and, you know, I was totally so excited to play against her. You know, it was just like, oh, I'm the plate gets Scarlet. Oh my god, panic! <laughs> and it was just, uh, well, it was before the bracket was finalized. <laughs> Bray was finalized. I ended up going up against a good friend of mine, I think. I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, I ended up going up against um, Slit. Good friend of mine. Fantastic player, too. That was a brutal 2 0. <laughs> I barely survived on uh, Korean Ping. What was this? So, classic versus Just Cry. No idea what um, that was. It that was game one. Yeah, it was game one. Game one on Royal Blood. It appeared. Oof. Game one Royal Blood. Yeah, KSLW seventeen. All right. I don't want to show that in folder. I want to classic versus. Game two. Should I say just should I just say final game? Nah. Uh, um was an ancient cistern. There comes a point where you've just seen these maps so much that you know them by sight. Oh this one's green, it's ancient cistern. You know? uh, it's ancient cistern, uh, I want to add the official joint to that one. Our official um not joint label to it. That was the only one I've been able to cast of this entire uh, group. Of this entire series. I mean, yeah, there were three pa uh, um, pass passovers. Uh, three... What's the word I'm looking for? Walkovers. Three walkovers from... Uh, uh, um, all right, please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Currently, keyframes are not being sent often enough, which can cause buffer in the current keyframe frequency, 8.2 seconds. Note that ingestion errors. Okay, let's let's mess with that a bit while we're waiting. Let's just first make sure I'm not being invited to anything. Okay, so yeah, okay, no time. Uh, fuck. It's gonna be a uh, special and versus dark. Uh, oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. Output of video common FPS values. In case accessibility advanced keyframes. Where's the keyframes? Retry delay. Maximum retry is twenty five. Enable. Stream delay, uh, that ain't happening. Fuck. Alright, so looks like nothing's happened there yet. So let's just make sure I don't accidentally scroll. Okay, so yeah, process priority. Active output warnings, hotkeys, nope. Audio output. I want to go for output. Alright, so. Uh, no, don't save those changes. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh. Hey, <laughs> I get to cast again. I get to cast, uh... Uh... Do it. Do it. Yeah, he probably doesn't remember some random duty he played against. I mean, I did play against, uh, special ones. It's back in the EPT Open Cups. I think it was 132 I went up against him. 
I absolutely got my got my uh, stuff pushed in by him, but uh, it was a fun game. It was really chill after the fact. Uh, I was able to, you know, get the get the secret of how he got as good as he did. And today he's just pra <laughs> he just practiced, win two games in the finals. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Dark is in the finals. Uh, this is tournament. Um, game one, I remember because I tried to cannon rush him. <laughs> that was um, well, lead balloon, brick wall. You get the picture. <laughs> um, it ended up turning into a diff uh, to. Fantastic defense from him. Uh, that ended up him just uh, finding out, uh, just thinking he probably has nothing at home. Maybe moving across the map and winning the game. Uh, game two was a little more interesting. I was able to hold him off uh, for like, I don't know. Uh, I think it was like 10 minutes. This was his Protoss, so it was... Uh, so, you know, I wasn't getting smeared by his Terran. You know. But I had to... But it was... I, I was turtling up. I was like, okay, I'm afraid to take a third. I'm afraid to do just about anything. And then he waltzes into my main with a warp prism. Warps in about, like, 12 charge lots, and it was GG from there. Uh, yeah. I uh, have... Do I talk to Enki about joining their, uh... Oh, nope. Enki's not even there. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I'm at a party, but uh, I'm not actually concerned what happens. I'm gonna try to catch up. Uh, I mean, Nightmare vs. Cyan? No, it's Nightmare vs. Cyan. Yeah. It's Nightmare vs. Cyan, it's Classic vs. the winner of those two. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I kind of favor Nightmare in that matchup. Um. I mean, Nightmare's. I think he was in, yeah, he was able to, Nightmare was able to knock out Neeb in a PvP. That guy, it, uh, I don't know, I mean, if you knock out Neeb in a PvP, that's definitely respect. Technically, Neeb is a three-time world champion, I think. Like back when Dreamhack, I think it was back when Dreamhack was considered a championship. I have no idea what the lore is there. But he did win a lot of, um, a lot of money, like five, like half a million, broke <laughs> literally by by his own house, and all he'd have to work to do is uh, buy his own house, still have money to spare. Uh, I mean, he does live in New York. Uh, yeah. Does he? I don't know. Never mind. He does. He, uh, from what I heard, though, he does live somewhere that's uh, pretty expensive. Uh, I don't know. Into the new. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. It's midnight over at where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just waiting at this point. This is definitely going to get a few dislikes. I have no idea, though. Anyway, new story. Okay, then. He already uh, posted those. All right. Uh, 
Uh, well, <laughs> so, since we've got absolutely nothing going on. Dave Testa is freaking awesome. He's the one who actually got me really into um, streaming this whole thing. Right now. <laughs> for, for a stream, it is probably not my best work. Hmm. Man, this is just a really low energy, uh, low energy turn out. I hope Dark's having fun. It really does feel like, you know, you're ending up with, um, you know, it, I don't know. It's not quite that it feels like, uh, uh, what the heck? Yeah, I'm definitely not reading Discord and telling stories. It definitely feels like that, blah, 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 not quite as, you know, as low energy as the, uh, um, as the Claptrap birthday party, but it just feels like it's, you know, not a whole lot of people, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's actually much better than that in the end. I mean, we have Dark, for crying out loud. We have Dark, we have freaking Cyan, we have Nightmare, we have, uh, a lot of Masters League players. We have Hoopsaya, we have freaking Just Cry, we have, we had Nice, but he was AFK for a bit. I mean, we have Classic. This is insane, man. This is a really good turnout. Um, so, you know, we have a really, we had a really good turnout. Uh, yeah. For the pro toss, or finals. <laughs> yeah, I might actually have to leave. Yeah. Stark is still waiting. <laughs> waiting in the semifinals. Waiting in the semis for the Protoss or finals. So it's either Protoss or Pro. I th Wait, it's Classic. Yeah, it is Classic versus Nightmare. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, yep. Nice. I get invited to the party, so I get to actually cast a game. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, I've only been able to cast one series. Only slightly been dri driven up a wall. Into the new. That, into, yeah, into the Inu is really good. Uh, really good guy. Fantastic at organizing these things. Yeah. I mean, it is at the, um... It is the, uh... It is during the Home Story Cup, so... Yeah, maybe next time we'll have a bigger, better turnout. Um, bigger, better, bigger, better, better turnout. I don't know. I mean, the uh, turnout we got is pretty good, but it's definitely, you know... <sighs> I don't know. But, oh, that aside, we have... Classic. Versus, representing Abydos Gaming, it is Nightmare on this first map. It is Royal Blood. 
Right now, my internet is lying, saying I have 26 milliseconds to Korea, but in reality, I have 262 milliseconds to Korea. What enough about me? This isn't about me. This isn't about you either. This is about something bigger than all of us. There is two Protoss players going up against each other in an epic best of three series. You know, that's something I never noticed. Hydralisk head looks a little bit like a Protoss head, but the Protoss head doesn't have the teeth. But all that aside, up here in the top right with an anime I'm not sure I think it's clan? It might be a clan picture. It is representing Abydos Gaming. It is Nightmare. And down here in the bottom left all on his own. The man who has made it into the semis fighting every step of the way. It is classic. Could we mirror it openers from both players? Okay, well, it's gonna be a slightly faster for classic. And it is gonna be a scout from both players. Shenanigans Classic is up to. Looks like uh, this Nightmare is going to be able to chase off this uh, Classic Pro. Oh, oh, no. He isn't going to go for that pylon. Looks like it's not going to be a proxy from, not, uh, from either player. We have an open, a good open, a standard openers, mirrored openers, my bad. Uh, I don't know what to make of this. Gonna be using a case because my wrist is starting to feel like something punched it. So, yeah, that's back. Gonna be a double stalker from both players. What is that? I wonder if that's from an anime or something. Yeah, it's again mirrored. No deviation. It's just a faster shield battery for Nightmare. See, is that full wall? Yeah, that is a full wall. He is gonna cancel it. Is he just gonna? He he wanted that probe. Okay, yeah, that. Okay, yeah. I was wondering for a moment what that was. The skin on these units is kind of awesome. I mean, look at this. It's got to be the most awesome looking stalkers ever. Mirrored. Mirrored damage on the whole. Or mirrored whole damage from both players. I mean, it's 54 health. 54 health. <laughs> It's just this whole thing just feels choreographed. Like both players are know their part better than the other player. Right now, Classic's got a pretty nice concave set up on here on the high ground. I uh, wonder. Nope. It looks like he's gonna turn around and head back home. And get his double sentry out. And so, well, that's a difference. It's going to be a Twilight Council from Nightmare and a Robo from Classic. These sentries applying their tickle beams to this unbuildable plate. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the map, Classic seems in no hurry to do something about these plates. They're just going to sit menacingly. I notice how this unbuildable plate is almost exactly where uh, 
Harden was famous for his Oblivion game. One pile and wall off, and oh my gosh, did Sully get the the short end of that stick? There's just so few ways to look at it. He is going to spot it that it is a robo opener from uh, from classic. Where is his immortal? I saw an immortal. Oh, nope, two adepts over here. Looks like the um, nightmare is going to scout it. And it is just a back and forth where both players just seem very careful to move out, careful to engage, and careful to misengage. Uh, careful about not misengaging against the other opponent. Just now as uh, the opponent's robo starts out, but his uh, blink is a lot faster, so I'm not sure if it is an advantage or disadvantage. I'm not sure what's going on here. So, uh, War Prism looking around, looking for an angle to cause some damage. It's going to try to catch... Uh, it's going to scout that there is a third going down for... Uh, for Nightmare. And these two go in here. And two stalkers are there to intercept them. It's going to get two probes. And that... Oh, ow. That's a lot of damage. These stalkers are going to be here to be able to catch the stalkers of Classic. I am do not like this position for Classic. I think if uh, Nightmare pushes across the map right now while Classic does not have Blink, it's going to be game over. Uh, some really good micro from both players. It looks like it is going to be... Stalker count is going to favor Nightmare who has Blink and is using it and is making it Classic's problem. It's going to lose one, we're going to lose two, we're going to lose three, oh, and two centuries while well, he's at it. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I really don't like this position for uh, for Classic. So he is going to um, shield battery overcharge. And he is going to get—he's going to get a cancel on this third. It looks like these two the stalkers blinking in. He's going to lose one of them. And he oh, snipes! Oh my God, that is unbelievably close. But I think he's overstayed his welcome as the stalkers of uh, of classic are going to overwhelm him. Charge starts up for classic. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, five more gateways for uh, for nightmare start. Plus one attack on the way. I'm not certain how well it's going to help him though. Three more centuries start up for classic, for and yeah, for classic and a, another immortal is finished. Two immortals are out. Another a fort starting up for classic, and uh, about three more gateways starting up for him. Templar archives. It looks like he's going to prepare for the other part of the. Uh, PvP tech tree, and that is the Archon. Now, there are five, six units you see typically used in PvP, especially at the pro level. Uh, one is the Dark Templar. Uh, primary is Stalker. Secondary, Immortal. Third is Charge Lot. Fourth most used is Archon. Fifth is Disruptor, and sixth is Dark Templar. You can use Glaive Adepts, but they're mostly an early gaming unit, so as soon as your opponent gets out, uh, masses an amount of Stalkers, it, your, uh, your push is pretty much just stopped in its tracks. Looks like it is going to be a few of a few of Nightmare's adepts shading in here. They're both going to be taken out not before they get three probes though. A bunch of charge lots running. Oh, snap! Huh. Looks like he did overstay his welcome. It looks like it's going to be classic taking the advantage over Nightmare in this particular PVP. It's going to focus down that warp prism and. That 
pretty much terminates the aggression of uh, of Nightmare. It's gonna try to. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Oh, wow. Yow, yow, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's that's not a fun position to be in when you're running and your opponent is just blinking and chasing you down. It just feels like your opponent is a predator just hunting you down every moment you get, and it is going to be uh, batteries and cannons for Nightmare. So it was falling behind in the supply against Classic in this PvP. Looks like he's going to be going for a charge out run by. He's going to try to hit this fourth if he has one. A few more results starting up. But as Classic gets more and more Archons, these are going to fall off far more painfully. That being said, if he doesn't have any Archons, all of a sudden, you know, if he's able to focus down on the Archons, all of a sudden these Chartops gain so much power. Plus two attack on the way. A recall coming down at the uh, natural of Classic, who is... And he's going to get a really nice... Again, he's going to get a really nice wall off with this warp in. Uh, all of a sudden, these are trapped. Oh uh, nope, he's got a he's got a um, he's got a recall, and he's able to take full advantage of that. His recalls out of there. He gets a few. He gets a little bit of damage done, but mostly he gets a lot of scouting. But that can be more or worth more than taking out a unit. He knows uh, the transitions for uh, for classic, and I don't know. I don't know just how much damage he's going to be able to deal. He's going to catch this fourth out of. Uh, he's going to catch this fourth, but Dark Classic is going to be nearby to be able to stop it. Going to try to click on. It. He's going to try to run away though. But these sentries have other plans. He's going to finish up. No hull damage. Four uh, four zealots coming out. Ultimately getting the worst end of that trade. These armies look like they're just going to barely miss each other over here. Uh, only one of them has a warp prism though. Two immortals, um, an archon, some zealots on the way over here. Meanwhile, it's a it was a push that was gonna come from uh, nightmare, but then nightmare needed to come back home because he was getting very hit very hard. Some nice micro is gonna get that archon to safety, but a lot of archons are gonna prevent these uh, charge shots from being able to engage, but. Holy smokes, this is a large army marching into the main of uh, Nightmare. If you saw this army marching into your main, you would, you would be wondering... Well, I mean, in a nice light scenario, you'd be wondering what exactly went wrong in life for you to, to have this happen to you. This, uh, this, uh, this cannon doing what it can to cause what damage it can. Just a bunch more charge dots are being warped in. But the Archons are just running rampant all over everything of class... Like, all over everything of um, Nightmare. And I feel like Nightmare just doesn't have that long to live in this game. Already much more damage going down in favor of Classic, who's gotten all the probes, a lot of the infrastructure in the main, and it's going to be a GG in favor of Classic. Well played by both players is going to be Classic up 1-0 against Nightmare. That is insane. Even though it was only 13 minutes long, it was still an insane series that was quite fun to play, uh, quite fun to cast. But yeah, we saw four of those. I feel like if they got disruptors, that that would have. Um... Oh yeah. That that would have really um, kept either of them alive, but neither of them went f or kept a nightmare. It would have uh, allowed nightmare to keep. Um... Uh, uh, I don't think <laughs> I don't think into the new was really um was gonna be playing uh, in this series. Do classic and Inu switch bodies? <gasps> Myth conception. But we are going to hop into this game, too, between Nightmare and Classic. Nightmare with this epic freaking banner. And is appropriately 
uh, Iron Chef hat. In classic, with this Tassadar profile picture and the Dark Templar banner. And it is going to be a game two on Ancient Cistern. Down here in the bottom left, representing Abydos Gaming. It is Nightmare. And up here in the top left. Bottom left, top right, yep, yep, yep. Make sure I got that right. Top right, representing... I have no idea. It is classic. Again, we're going to have mirrored openings. So, looking at this pro, just some really sick skins. It's going to be the classic skin, uh, the, uh, not the classic skin, the uh, standard skin for Nightmare. And well, it's going to be the same for classic, just as classic, or not classic, um, standard everything. Nightmare and uh, classic going for Gateway Scouts. I do, uh, double gas openers. Again, identical openers. I, I notice a lot of there's a few pros of favor this particular wall off in PvP. But I'm not exactly certain why. I wonder what advantages it offers. I mean that yeah, true, there's no banelings for Protoss. There's no um There's no uh what you call them? Uh siege tanks for Protoss. So it's gonna be a really difficult fight. Uh, to try to get that one pile on that wall. So I figure, yeah, maybe he's looking to make the wall a little easier to attain. I don't, I don't know. Plus going for a standard, uh, for a standard wall off. There's two buildings in it. Looks like we get to find out what kind of style each one plays in this, uh, this game too. Looks like it's going to be Stalker Adept for... Nightmare and Adept Adept for a classic. So it's going to be rallied across the map. Oh, this is about to get very haywire very fast. I wonder if uh, I wonder what <laughs> if classic just decides to drop a free uh, drop a forge and just cannon rush him. You're not locked in here with me. I'm locked. I'm locked in here with you. It's gonna be another two adepts for classic. It's going Stargate. Um, I don't know, man. This is about to get very, very scary. Uh oh, oh. It is going to be Nightmare picking off a probe. Oh, not just a probe. And three probes. And well, Classic hasn't been able to get any of Nightmare's probes. Let's still try to clear this up. It's going to be an earlier Nexus for, uh, for our dear Protoss player. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Nightmare with a big brain plays is gonna uh, show this noob caster that, as a matter of fact, you can wall off with. Uh. Um. He is going to get three probes, four probes. He's going to get more damage done than uh, five probes. Holy crap, this is game-ending damage, guys. This is game-ending damage. I don't think... Um, this is going to be very difficult for uh, Nightmare to be able to uh, to be able to crawl, out, uh, to crawl out of. Oh, no. And the horror is not over yet. As two oracles dive in, they're going to be getting some damage done on this. Uh... Oh, oh, classic! I I know what he's doing. I think I know what he's doing. He's trying. To, I think he's trying to drain that battery. 
for a push or something. I don't know. No hull damage st sustained on either ones uh, yet, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. Still could go either way. This looks like he's going to try to pick off a few probes. These two oracles are going to get out. There's one with a lot of hull damage, but these... It's going to be five more workers going down for Nightmare. And Classic getting out with mostly everything. Right now, Nightmare's got to get some counter damage done. Oh, so, so far he's only been able to catch two workers. And just looking at right now, it is not looking hopeful. Nine, 14 units killed for Classic, and only nine for, um, for Nightmare. I, uh, yeah, I mean, the worker count is very even, so. Hmm, I don't know. Still, I feel like it could still go either player's way. Blink almost done for both players. It's gonna be... Uh, oh, well, would you look at that. A proxy pylon for going down for Classic. And it is a supply lead for Classic. Six minutes into the game, it is only... We're only in the, to the double digits. And it's, it just feels very odd, you know. In the previous game, we saw them in the double digits. Um... Like at like a five and the triple digits at like five minute at the five minute mark, bunch of stalkers coming across for a classic, and uh, I don't know. It could. I feel like I feel like classics got this, but by the same token, with good defense, nightmare could also turn this in his favor. It's gonna be running onto this shield battery. And he's gonna, uh, Classic's just gonna dive right in. And he has enough stalkers to, oh, he just lost, he had enough stalkers to one shot, but it is gonna be a uh, nightmare chasing, but he can't really, oh. Oh my gosh. Stalk, uh, this blink stalker control out of Classic is just insane. As much as I have a massive amount of respect for Nightmare, I feel like Classic has him outgunned on the uh, Blink Stalker Micro. Just something about his control. Uh, I don't know. It's just so precise. Stalker's gonna be going across the map. Gonna be evicted from their own uh, from their own house, which is not fun. Not fun at all. It's gonna blink away, it's gonna blink on top of all these stalkers, these stalkers are gonna come back, it is gonna be a heavy supply lead for, uh, for Classic, and a lot of stalkers in favor of, and, oh my god, a massive stasis, we're gonna be cutting down on the, uh, on the mineral income for Nightmare, I think it's, you know, it, it is gonna be GG as the worker income just crumbles. Classic's multitasking out, uh, outpacing Nightmare. It is, and it is going to be a 2-0 in favor of Classic. It is going to be Classic versus Dark in the finals here. It's going to be best of five finals. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm hoping we see some cheese. Everyone in chat, if you're hoping for cheese, which is all of Nobody, but, uh, uh, all right, yeah. Well, well, we're going to have cheese. Cheese. I love cheese. Cheese is my best friend. Get in here, Doc. We are in the party. Yeah, I think Chicken Man is probably gonna gather that one, so I don't think he needs it. Uh, yeah. So I just really kind of... Was, yeah, I don't know, it just feels like I was kind of remedial in this effort.
All right, we got the finals, guys. It's gonna be dark versus classic. It just feels like those two are just so dang strong. Dark left the party. What happened? Nightmare left the party. Dark left the party. No, no. What if they just? Ugh. Come on. Oh, we're gonna see what goes on here. By the way, I should make sure. Let's have another friend. He's a good guy. Alright. Is he online? Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. Well then. You're awake now. Tell me. How does it feel to be an executioner? Yeah. Ouch. I wonder if Dark's having trouble joining the party. <laughs> Who all is in the party? Oh, yeah. It says that eight are in the party, but Dark didn't uh, get put in the party. Uh, classic. Classic Blizzard. Oh my god. Might be my issue. Okay, wow. Thank you so very much, Blizzard. For your shenanigans. Wonder if Dark's having issues. Yeah. I mean, it's the only reason he'd leave the party. You have to read it. Blah, 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 blah. Just not letting him in or something? I mean, I can hop off for the night. I don't know, man. I wonder if it's an issue with me. Maybe leaving the party? I don't know. dark into it. I wonder if I just, ah, uh, yeah. Just, I haven't had a really productive stream. Oh, let's finish it out. Let's go for the finals, my friends. Let us go for the finals. We go. Uh, uh. 
it might end up just being a classic. Uh, it's gonna. Be, this will be the first time I've ever been in. Uh, I've ever seen a finals where it's just been walkover after walkover. <laughs> Yeah, uh <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, he's he's AFK. Yeah. Sure the same as a way. Oh no. Oh gosh. If it has to be a walkover <laughs> uh, it's pretty dark on Dark is here? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the ultimate finals. Dragon Kaisi Gaming's Dark versus Classic. They're going to be going into vetoes right now, so I have no idea what's going to be going on. I'm just going to have an advanced knowledge that this thing is about to go crazy. Oh, damn. I'm never going to try that again. count the walkovers folks one two three four walkovers out of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen out of fourteen games there's been four walkovers wow that is insane I think I've only seen that many walkovers, uh, not even an ESL. I wonder if uh, it, Home Story Cup is really uh, hitting people pretty hard. Hmm. Well. Pretty low key. Gonna be a lot of. Uh, There's going to be a lot of people playing. Wait, special played Protoss? Oh, shit. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so I'm going to label these. Um, classic versus Nightmare. Nightmare. Uh, one. Blood. KSLW17. Uh, rename. Classic versus Nightmare. It's nightmare. Classic versus Nightmare. What was it? Game 2. This was an ancient cistern. Ancient cistern. Uh, KSL W17. Honestly, every player that attended is awesome. You know, he, he, we had special, we had freaking classic, we had dark, we have, uh, we have dark, we have triple, we have black. These guys are awesome. Um, oh man, but it's just kind of a low key tournament. Really low energy. It's gonna be. It's yeah. 
I don't know. Maybe after this I'll just play a ladder game to fill in the silence. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, even... Even one of the, uh... Even one of the founders is, was kind of bummed by the turnout. And he was also tired. Ugh. Yeah, uh, truth be told, I'm kind of tired, too. But you know what? I never miss a dark game. Well, I do miss a dark game every once in a while. But not a dark finals. Okay, maybe a dark finals. Uh, what? They... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's odd. <gasps> You know, that is really weird. Classic has to accept. There we go. We are hopping right into game one. It's gonna be a chill stream, stream, whatever you all want to call that shit. Gonna be game one on Gresvin. Start game number one in Cresven. We are hopping right into it. It's going to be a Dragon Kaisi game in the start. This is Classic. I don't know if Classic has a team or not. Kind of curious. Up here with the classic drones. Representing Dragon Geyser Gaming. It is dark. Looks like he has the simulant skin for his uh, hatchery. And down here on the bottom right. With the blue probes. It is classic. Going to be able to go in for a low gram wall off. Gonna be going for a pool first is dark. Interesting. Maybe uh, going for a 12-11? Oh, no, no. Probably not. I have no idea what that build is anyway. Oh, what the? Oh. Uh. Where is this drone going? Looks like dark is gonna be able to get the... Natural? Dark? Is there gonna be a natural? Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Classic exam for a root surprise as soon as he scouts as he already spots three. He spots three. He has nothing to, nothing to suspect. And now the alarm goes off. Six lanes already almost finished. He's already too late. It is uh, Classic to really. Oh. Oh. Jeez, it's a dark proxy pat, proxy pat, uh, proxy hatch. Yeah, I said proxy. Fuck, proxy patch. What the fuck is proxy pat? <laughs> it's gonna be a dark proxy hatch as we see a cell being chronoed out for classic. Sixlings heading across the map with two more following. It's gonna be a uh, hatchery follow up for dark. These lanes are gonna be able to slide inside of dark's natural, and it is gonna be. Rowdy. Looks like he is going to be able to get this. Uh, going to be able to get this gateway. Second one already. Uh, already there. But this is a dead work a dead uh, worker. I feel like if he uh, if he tried, he could really get this uh, cybercore. 
And he looks like he, he is going to be able to, he's, he's going to get, go for it, but he's only going to get four links on it. What? And Dark finishes it? Oh, the madman! The freaking madman finishes the hatchery! I have not seen something like this. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's already hatchery going down behind this. It's going to be a, um, it looks like it's going to be a macro follow-up for Dark. Who looks to be trying to push out a queen, and um, a drone gets out. And he's building a spine crawler. It looks like this is going to go down. And he's going to try to place, I guess he's going to try to place, try to place creep tumor over here to keep this sustained. And, uh, oh my, oh, it's going to get sniped by, by a, not Scarlet. He's so gonna get sniped by a uh, classic, who is going to, uh, is he gonna try to kill that, kill his own hatchery to get the broodlings? I don't know, but he is gonna engage with. Uh, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is gonna be another one. It is gonna be another one coming down. It's, it is going to be. Uh, dark. It is gonna be classic in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Already, this uh, this thing, this this thing, this spine crawler coming up is gonna be. Able, <laughs> it's gonna be able to take out a. Uh, looks like it's gonna be able to take out nothing. Uh, with um, classic excellent micro, it's gonna uh, gonna go death. Uh, gonna go kill us as this queen waddles her way back to base. This uh, adept is going to try to come in. It's going to get one. It looks like it's going to try to get one drone, but it's. Uh, oh, yep. It gets one drone. Oh, my gosh. And dark spreading creep backwards. Mate, I don't think this is your side of the map. <laughs> um, it, oh, my gosh. Link speed is not on the way. It doesn't look like dark's going to be in any hurry to start that. What? Oh no, it's no gas for Dark. He's gonna go greedy, boy, and gra drop a third hatchery. Meanwhile. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna continue spreading that creep backwards. That's the re reverse creep spread if I've ever seen it. Oh my gosh, I'm not casting this. <laughs> You know, it's just something awesome about being able to cast a dark game where he, uh, where he proxies. His proxies are always devastating, always fun, and it is usually ends up in a really nasty game. Now we'll be able to. Now we're going to see how well Classic is able to recover from this really weird opening. Looks like it is going to be a uh, hallucinated phoenix to scouting this all out. I'm going to be seeing that there is a third. There's going to be double gas coming down. Did Classic spot this? Oh, nope. That's Dark's point of view. Let's... No, he did not. So taking everyone's view back, taking the view of everyone's camera, he's not going to see that's going to be a double gas. He's not going to see that uh, the Roach Warren coming down for Dark. So he's going to be going double disruptor. More, uh, it's going to be all the lings that Dark's gonna build is already there. Five more drones, around drones on the way. N another hatchery coming down over here. And looks like no pressure is being applied to Classic just yet. A weird opening with an even weirder follow, with an even weirder follow up of just straight up rushed roaches. It is gonna be a fast prism, so. These queens aren't going to have a whole lot of time to be able to uh, shoot it. This overlord is going to spot this before it's able to come into vision. Dark's going to see it. As he's he got, when he's going to respond, he's going to have another queen. It looks like these disruptors are going to... Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. One queen goes down to those two disruptor novas and a little bit of hull damage being taken on that, uh, on that warp prism. Uh oh, oh. He hadn't he had an opportunity to snipe, but I don't think he was able. He was paying full. Uh, maybe he didn't. I mean, Dark does have a transfused. Sick. What? Oh my gosh. 
I completely missed those drones going down at the, over here, and it looks like it's going to be two depths being warped in. It's going to be some damage done being done by Classic over here on the other side of the map. More st more drones going down, more queens being over here, uh, being put over here. Thirteen drones going down on the other side of the map. It is going to be more drones, fifteen drones, sixteen drones, seventeen drones. It's going to be more damage being done, more novas, more drones, more damage. This is game-ending damage, folks. This is uh, an even economy for both players, and that is not something you want—not somewhere you want to be as a Zerg against a Protoss. Even economy is very deadly, but this is not just any old pro, uh, any old Zerg. This is dark. He is capable of making miracles happen from being down, from being. He was even on workers, but now he's just up workers. Aspire coming down for him is. And on the other side of the map, that's Overseer is going to scout that it is a Colossus follow-up. It is going to... Let's see if Dark sees that he has a third. Yes, he does scout that he does have a third. Uh, the War Prison coming in with some more Novas. Gonna, gonna, gonna be uh, chilling out back here with some uh, Disruptors in its wake. This Observer seeing everything. Seeing that these Zerglings have their wings. See if Classic knows about Dark's fourth. Apparently not. Oh, that's, so, that's very unfortunate. He probably assumes that he has a fourth. And this is operating off of that knowledge. He has a third up, up and coming. This Overseer is just scouting everything. He's soon going to be pushed away by this Photon Cannon. There's three Stalkers coming up the side of the map. But there's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of Mutas and Zerglings. Or dark. Hallucinated. Uh, oh, he's going to hallucinate some stalkers to try to tank for these wheel stalkers. Going to force these mutalisks to back off for the time being. His lanes are going to be uh, going to be going off over here, to the, and it's going to be a retreat or a reposition. Now it's a retreat for a classic. As these lanes and mutas are coming across on the other side of the map, going to be searching for a fourth. Or just going to be diving straight towards the net. Nope, he's going to pull back for the time being. Already some movement indicating that these stalkers have found a, a an overseer traveling across the map. And it is going to be, again, the warp prism loaded up. With disruptors. These mutas are gonna come inside, uh, come over here, but there's they're gonna find they're gonna find some decent damage. These stalkers are gonna be uh, gonna come up. They do have blink. Uh, I feel like oh, that's a lot of stalkers to be caught between. And classic besieging way to get to Zhao is gonna be or yeah, I think that to rescue Zhao, it's gonna it's gonna be pushed back. I don't know. I feel like a backstab could really deal some damage here. But, uh, oh, yeah. Really keeping these mutilus contained. He's going to pull these over here. Basically opening up an avenue of escape for these mutilus, but Dark isn't going to be able to know. Uh, Dark isn't going to know about it until, uh, his, until his army sees that. His classic blinks forward. Going to be able to pick off one, two mutilisks. These mutalisks are already chilling out over here. They're going to slide out of uh, that containment. And these lings are going to, again, slide. They're going to take a lot of damage. Dark is going to lose an overseer. Already close to max out is Dark. And Classic is still working his way there. Dark's constant aggression, keeping him on his toes. He has a really nice split of his army. Some Phoenix coming out for for classic. Uh, oh, he gets the gas. He blinks in, uh, blinks in. He gets the other gas. It's gonna really slow down dark. Uh, classics uh, gas income. And these mutalisks are really gonna keep uh, a lot of army down there. Corruptors coming out for dark. And some links looking to go for a backstab. Gonna find an exposed, or well, not so exposed anymore. Uh, fourth. 
And that's a recall coming down. And... <laughs> <laughs> he recalls to rescue it, then the lingus just come by and just like, uh, I'm sorry, mate, were you trying to rescue this? Not already dark getting up at a bank. And this is, I'm not sure how this fight goes for, yes, yeah, I think, yeah, it is favorable for, is it just Mass Muta Corruptor for dark? Already on his a lot of base. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bases. It's on his seventh base, and it looks like he's gonna. Oh my gosh! Okay, he is gonna get the. Um, oh my gosh! That's a lot of mutalisks. I mean, there was a reason the um, the spell Maelstrom existed for Protoss and Brood War. And it was specifically for moments like these. Uh, it doesn't look like Classic's going to be going for Archons. Um, the, oh my gosh so much damage being done by Dark here. It's going to be getting one or two Phoenix. It's going to be getting three, four Phoenix. I think it's going to be a win for Dark. As the supplies tr uh, pl yeah, as the supply plummets for Classic and his worker count is just absolutely abysmal. Uh, I think Dark has won this. He's going to be pulling back for right now, but uh, I think this is a, class, uh, a Dark win. Going to be repositioning with some Lings, some uh, Mutalisks. Going to be a lot coming out over here for Dark. It was going to be a sudden tech transition. It's going to ca catch Classic completely off guard. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know my counters very well, but I don't think. Uh, hmm. I don't think. Uh, error counters anyway. I don't think Phoenix counter I uh, uh, counter much more than Mutalisks in this comp. And it is going to be a GG in favor of Dark in this game. Who goes up 1-0 in this series. Dark already off to a cheesy start. Uh, able to catch Classic off guard with that hatchery in the wall. It's so a proxy hatchery right in front of the wall, the madman. And it is going to be game two on Royal Blood. One person is not accepted. Uh, what are we looking at? It is going to be the last uh, series of the night. A very short tournament. Comparatively short, only two hours. Dark is ready. Classic is ready. Into the Inu is going to start the countdown, and it is going to start on Royal Blood. ESL version of the map. Not I think in the ESL versions of the map, the unbuildable blocks are directly in front of the ramps to prevent, <laughs> to, well, prevent the parting pylon. Parting pylon tricks. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of parting. Bro was cheesy. He was crazy about his strat. He was crazy with his strats. It was as fun as heck to watch. Well, enough about that, because down here in the bottom left, with the classic drones and the simulant 
pantry. It is dark. And up here in the top right, it is classic with the blue probes. Using the standard skin, it is going to be a ZVP. Dark up one. Classic going for the low ground ball. Go to scout, JP making sure Dark can't take his third. Or take, can't take his nat normal natural. Standard opener, hatch gas pool. Classic going for some mineral like harass. It is going to be a very, very normal game. Which has me wondering what is Dark up to? Honestly, uh, when I first saw the uh, the image of dark in the um, in the I am Catavizzo. I mean, Bro looked handsome. He's like that. Um, it's like how you would imagine uh, Zoro. And it was just kind of like. Like he could be on a model for fashion, for men's fashion. It is going to be an adept first for Classic, who's going Stargate. Dark has Queens coming out. Hmm. It is going to be a second adept. The sling is going to slip in. I don't think it's going to live past the first wall, though. No, it is not. It's going to be a second adept coming out for Classic. It's going to be a gateway. Uh, gateway Stargate. Another thing with the word gate in it. There's the third going down. Classic doing a really good job at denying scouting for Dark. And it is going to be, it is going to come as a surprise for Dark uh, that this Oracle will. Looks like it's going to take his third. Yeah, and he has already got spores finishing up in each mineral line. A lot of hull damage coming down on that, uh, on that oracle means that that is going to be a lot of damage. And these links going to come in, catch that adept, and are, they're going to put some damage on this, on this pile. Maybe no, they're not going to kill it. They're going to just put some hull damage on it. These, these oracles and the adept are going to force them back. Still no anti-air for classic. But that can be easily changed. He has not seen anything to suggest that he needs anti-air. Seen a lot of queens, and these queens are, are going to find these oracles. And again, I don't think that or is that oracle. Nope, it's not going to get out. Four drones going down for one oracle. It's a pretty decent trade, but nothing by any stretch of the imagination that would be good for classic in this particular scenario. There's a lair coming down for Dark. No roach where it has of yet. <sighs> Some stalkers coming down, and it is going to be a very safe overlord up here. And we have 
have a Evo Chamber, more Queens over here. A, another Oracle try to come and go try to find some damage, but it is going to be forced back by those Queens. And two drones are going down. I completely missed that. I was over here. You know, I, I don't know what it is, but this is always the final of a of these things that is always a treat to, you know, treat to cast, treat to watch, treat to see. And it is just absolutely amazing. This overseer gonna get full scout off in Classic's main. Plus one starting up for Classic and back uh, and more stalkers and stuff. Very tactical terms coming up for Classic on on um, dark side of the map. It is going to be more overlords, plus one melee, and a spire coming down. These queens are doing what they can to protect what they can. More lings on the way for dark. Uh, is going to snatch up an overlord. So, I don't know how... Hmm. Classic with Blink already finished up. I completely missed that. And these links looking to come in for a surround. The Blink is going to prevent a complete surround. But these the stalkers looking to snatch up that queen. It is going to be snatched. And it's going to be snatched for free. Look like they're going to snatch up this fourth. Or, yep, this fourth. And I don't know. There's going to be a lot of things here going on. A recall coming in. Gonna lose a. F oh, gonna lose a couple stalkers for it. But he is going to get a, a kill on that fourth. Well, meanwhile, Classic Zone fourth is getting uh, probed up. Meaning that this is going to be very difficult game to call. Uh, more damage is coming down on the other side of the map for Dark. And, ah, uh, it's a significant amount of damage. These links coming in for a multi-prong. The Zealot's going to clog up the wall, though, and going to keep those probes safe. Four probes, all in all, going down before Dark has to pull back. More Langs, more Mutas. Another hatchery coming down to replace the one that he lost. Dark is powering into the mid-game with more with Mutalisks and Zerglings, which... Honestly, I don't think Dark has, um, I don't think Classic has anything to be able to deal with these links effectively. Um, I feel like it's going to be really difficult. He's got a lot of stalkers and he's got a few zealots, and they are doing what they can. And good positioning will keep them alive. Uh, but for how long? This overseer gonna get a scan. Uh, gonna get a uh, full scout of the main. Gonna see that the fleet beacon is researching the phoenix speed. It is gonna die, but not before it sends back the information. And a changeling is here on dark side of, on uh, classic side of the map. More is there, uh, more. Uh, more probes going down for classic. More zerglings looking to probe into that side. These five, six brave zealots who have held off an onslaught repeatedly. It's going to be another warp in for classic. Meanwhile, these mulesks are kind of chilling out over here. Going to be uh, finding a good position from which to hit from. More Phoenix are being pumped by by Classic. Uh, I don't think that's a... Oh, yep. That's... Oh, no. He's going to be able to keep those alive. It looks like it's going to be a dedicated push out of Classic, who is going to be doing some damage... Going to be putting some damage done on, down on these uh, Mutalisks. 
Uh, ooh, this is going to be a difficult push to hold before dark, but if he manages to hold it, he will be in a far better position than he... Uh, than Classic, who does not have a... Who is preparing a transition right now, but if... He's got to keep this push alive that long. He only has to hold out for, like, I don't know, 13... Uh, got to hold out for a few seconds. Three drones going down and Dark managing to keep everything alive. And it looks like this Robo is going to be able to finish up in time to keep the keep everything alive. And it is going to be Dark GGing out as Classic takes game number two in style. Uh, someone didn't leave. This is going to be game number three, as both players say that they're ready. It is going to be on Ancient Cistern. Third map. Just make sure that... Oh, yep, yep. It is going well. Dark versus Classic. Yeah, I'm gonna have to guys. There we go. Six percent. Wow. Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> I, uh, that would have been really embarrassing to have to drop out because of that <laughs> ended up causing an interruption. Here on game number three on Ancient Cistern. Up here in the top right, representing Dragon Kaiser Gaming, it is dark. And down here in the bottom left, it is classic. With the blue probes. Gonna be going for that standard wall off. And we see a standard game out of both players. You know, I, know, I sometimes, I used to get uh, Classic and Creator, I used to get their names a little confused. Like when I first saw them in the I Am Katowice, it was a little confusing. It's like, alright, which one's Classic and which one's Creator? And so, God forbid, you see them in the same series and it's just like, alright, which one's which? Classic is doing X, wait, no, that's Creator. And then it was just, uh, it was just haywire mentally. But I wasn't casting it, so people far more competent than I were, thankfully. This overlord's gonna go back across the map. What? Whoa. Oh! No, it isn't going back across the map. For a moment I thought Dark's overlord was going to... Uh, for a moment I thought on the bottom left it was Dark. Okay, never mind, forget that. <laughs> uh. and there's going to be a hatch gas pool out of dark. Out of creator is going to be a nexus before core. This probe looking to do some more damage. But, uh, Dark has other ideas. Massive drone transfer over to this third. Sling gonna come in and is gonna get this, uh, get this probe.
this lone vicious ling. Let's call him Robert. Dang it, Bobby. And his twin. Robert. Robert and Bobber. Step gonna be coming in, Robert and Bobber gonna be on the on the scene. And this F is going to get pushed back without having dealt any damage. Void Ray is coming out for Classic. It looks to be Link Speed again from uh, from Dark. Who is going to get this deck before it is able to pop? Is Overlord going to come in? Going to get killed by this uh, by the Void Ray. So an Oracle pops out after the Void Ray. Some Ling's gathering on the other side of the map. He's going to know that it is a Void Ray first from Classic. It is going to keep that third safe. He's going to lose a Ling. Only 25 minerals, but nothing really major from uh, Lost from Dark. It's going to be a Evolution Chamber coming down. Spore crawlers coming down in each and uh, two of the three mineral lines. There's going to be three queens over here, and I think it should be sufficient to push away one oracle with minimum drone loss. So oracle chilling out over here, eyeing that mineral line, but. Unfortunately for the Oracle, the uh, Spore Curl is on the side that it's on. See, Depth's going to be coming in, going to catch this drone, and looks like Dark is going to be in perfect position for these. He's going to cancel, and he's going to back off right now. Oracle tries to dive in, but gets caught by this Spore Crawler and the Queen. These Lings are on the hunt. Fortunately, these Adepts are going to be backing off this Oracle coming in. Going to be more links coming across onto this side. Uh, I think this Mineral Line's in trouble. Even though he does have a, a couple Starkers, two Adepts, a Void Ray over here, I think that's going to be a lot of damage that Dark is going to be able to do. This Adept in the, in the, uh, in the wall is going to be a life save, real lifesaver. If he ever moves out of the wall, it's, it's game over for uh, oh my gosh. That is a really good fight for Dark. These, are, these Stalkers are going to try to get into a nice position, but Dark's not allowing that. A recall going to come down on a lot of these probes, but this Stalker is left out, and that is going to be a lot of damage done. Of mineral line, entire mineral line um, stopped from mining for the time being. So he's going to try to poke in once more, going to try to see what, what damage they can get done over on this end. But it is going to get pushed back by this Adept. Four Slow Zealots. And it's going to be some hold position micro. We're going to catch eight, uh, eight probes. But Dark is just all over Classic. Classic is not able to catch his breath, but he is going to be able to try to scale. Uh, but this this army getting caught out in the middle is not what Classic is not what Classic needs. He loses these zealots. That's going to be a lot of, a lot more damages. Dark continues to have a supply lead. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of damage. Just sound like that meme. Now that's a lot of damage. So we're going to be positioned a little bit far forward. We're going to try to catch these links as they come out. Roach Warren coming down for Dark. Another base coming up. And these Stalkers are going to blink in. And they're not going to be in quite exact position. There's going to be a, a lot of lost Stalkers here. Fourth going to be canceled. And these links are going to come out. A lot of damage on, done to both sides. So Link's going to back off for right now. More Link's on the way. Looks like Classic has stabilized for right now. Robo Bay going down. Where is that going down? Oh, yep. Robo Bay going down for...
classic, a robo facility going down for a classic. And a fifth base. So already a lot of damage being done to classic. More probe damage, more just, just general damage. These stalkers only able to catch it a few at a time. It is going to be a bit of damage for both players. So things coming in on the fourth, going to try to catch some damage over there, but they aren't going to be—they are going to be pushed away by those stalkers. More zealots on the way, charge on the way. This, this repositioning going to be cru crucial to the uh, survival of classic. Things going to be pushed back again. More stalkers being—are uh, there more stalkers being built? No, never mind. What am I smoking? More lings being built. More uh, roaches being built. Roar speed is almost finished, plus one weapon, plus one ah, missile weapon's going to be oh, just about finished. And I'm looking at the production tab, and I'm seeing 30, 40 lings in that tab. That's one heck of an army to deal with. It's two ling these bunch of lings are going to slip in behind enemy lines, and as, uh, as Classic tries to get aggressive... He's going to be losing a lot of his economy. He's going to try to go for a killing blow, though. But he isn't going to be able to find it as Dark just slides right in. Just causes so much damage. More probes going down. 23 probes coming down. But uh, it is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I was just about to say that it could end up just turning out that Dark is able to base trade. But it is going to be Dark taking the win there as Classic is unable to deal with Dark's constant Ling aggression. Ling taking game number three and Styog being up 2-1 against Classic. Going to be going into game number four here. Dark already on game point. Classic, two from. I'm kind of favoring Dark in this particular matchup. His ZVP has been just been absolutely insane. Uh, I mean, taking down Hero, taking down... I mean, back even a couple of years ago, you know, he 4 0 parting. You know, that's just something you never see. Bro's absolutely... Parting is just absolutely god tier with his Blink Stalker Micro. This next map is going to be hosted up on Ancient Sister. It's going to be Dragon Kaizi Gaming versus Classic. Or Dragon Kaizi Gaming's Dark versus Classic, anyway. And down here, bottom right of New Humanity, it is going to be Dark. The cheesiest of the cheesy Zergs. Other than Mio Mika, I mean, that guy's pretty cheesy. And up here in the top left, it is going to be classic in the blue probes. It is going to be another ZVP in this series, in this tournament finale. Looks like it's going to be a uh, edge gas pool out of dark and a nexus before core out of classic. Oh, what? Dark not going for that standard third. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh! Classic being outfoxed by Dark. As Dark tricks him into checking the forward third and takes his normal natural. It's going to be an... Uh, He's going to be able to get his opening out on time. It's the absolute insane micro gun. That probe's going to be taking some insane hole damage. He's going to lose the probe, which means scouting is going to get denied. There is no... Oh, wait a minute. That is that going to be a late cyber core? No, no not really. This is where I was thinking for a moment that a classic cyber core is going to be late because of that probe, but I guess not. Heck. 
some things in life. As the spawning pool finishes up, it's going to be uh, Queens and Lings from Dark. It was this one. Oof, classic. This natural finishes up. Good, come in. Good. Suss out. All the shenanigans Classic has been up to. It is going to be a Robo first out of Classic, which is new. Don't really see a whole lot of those in pro play, I don't think. Um, maybe he's going for an adept drop without glaives. I don't know. He's going to be going for a four gate of so oh, a three gate. It's right now, four gate of some kind. The stalker going to be right there to catch that overlord. It's going to force it back. And these things going to be putting some damage uh, down on these towers. Probably going to try to lock it down, prevent Classic from being able to use them. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, I know what he's doing. <laughs> This is a has build. It's going to be warping in a lot of slow lots on dark side of the map. All while carrying. <laughs> oh, God. If he actually gets dark with this, that would be insane. And it looks like he is because our dark is expecting a Stargate opener. What? Oh, no. He's going to be getting some roaches out. Oh. <laughs> It's just roach printer from here on out. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, if he actually gets dark with this, that would be insane. More roaches coming out. These roaches are really going to help against these slow lots since the slow lots aren't really meant, are really going to be able to. Oh, yep, and it's, uh, it's going to be some some transfuse going down. If that goes down, that is going to be a lot of damage for... Uh, this is an all-in. So if Dark holds this, he wins. But it looks like he's going to... Oh, yep. Uh, yeah, that immortal is the key to do all of that. So if that dies, yep. And it's just a slow death for uh, Classic. And it looks like... Dark is going to take this one 3-1 to one because, I mean, true, these uh, these slow lots can still get a lot of damage done, but Dark is just getting more units. Dark is just powering out, and that Immortal was the key to all of it. It's the key to holding off this entire group. And as the last one goes down, more, more slow lots being warped across the map. Oh, it's not over yet. Class could still take this. Um, micro is good though. It's keeping him. Uh, uh, keeping him. Oh well, there's more on the way, and that's going to be a recall. Already, some drones coming out. Some more roaches coming out. Dark is grabbing his third. Uh, Dark has already grabbed his third. He's saturating it right now. More roaches coming out for Dark. He's going to spot this war prism trying to come in cheekily. Three queens already on the way. More queens over here. And they're going to try to come into... They're going to be up here to defend the main. And... Classic isn't going to be able to find any damage there. Another uh, mortal is being able to renew this. But honestly, I'm not hopeful though. Dark already knows what happened. He knows that Classic cannot transit cannot transition out of this without just taking so much without basically just basically gutting his own eco. So this Overlord's going to be over here. It's going to be able to do uh, eventually run in and scout. Sling is just running around in front of here. More zealots coming out for Classic. I wouldn't mind him trying to get go for charge. 
but by the same token, I'm not certain. It's good. It's still an all-in. Classics locked on two base. It's going to be a very slow ferry process, and he's 